and I'm with Hobie Fishing and we're going to do a quick wrap up with the top three place getters for round one of series 12 here at Bem River. Um, guys, I guess, look, we've, we've had a cracking weekend weather-wise, there's no doubt about that, and I'd almost say that it was probably too good. Yeah, today, today is probably too good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, if my memory serves me correctly, the Sunday here last year was, now you just mentioned howler rods, yeah, but I'm going, it was just a it, howling wind. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, I think I had our young fella Harvey out on the Pro Angler 17, and it was just, like, we were sailing. But um, I guess look, two completely different, like polar opposite years. Um, I think the, the pre-fish day was pretty breezy. And I think, Nick, you were saying that you sort of, you found a few patches, but obviously didn't want to sort of sting those fish no, in that pre-fish, obviously. Exactly, yeah. The, the wind was good for Friday because it, I reckon it pushed the fish up onto the banks too. Yep. Um, it did die off for Saturday, Sunday, but, um, you know, it had its moments where it would pick up again. So those yeah, were the sure. optimum times to, to get the bike. So. Yeah, so and I think this morning it, it was, I know that when we came up and saw everyone yesterday morning, it was, it was just glass. Yeah. And, and I'm sure whether we got into a different spot or we found a little patch of wind, but there was at least a little bit of broken water on the surface this morning. Um, were, were any of you sort of in on the surface bite at all first up? No, I didn't throw surface all weekend. No, not I at all? Pre-fish, no. no. Yep. No, yeah, interesting. Pre-fish. There you go. Um, and then obviously that water that came through the system today in comparison to yesterday, we had almost like not super clear water, but definitely clear enough that in three or four feet you, you had a very, very clear view of the bottom. Yeah. Whereas today it was just like soup up there. Yeah. yeah. Um, then did you find that that sort of changed the way that the fish reacted? I didn't, know. No. It was, I mean, today it was, the bite was, it was pretty subtle. Like some of the bigger ones, they just crush it. But yep. a lot of the, you know, mid sort of six, seven hundred ones were just, yep. just tapping touching, at it. Touching, touching. Yep. Yeah, so it was, um, yeah, but today it was, I don't know, much, much the same. Yeah, that sounds like a, a c- c- congratulatory phone <laughs> call. <laughs> And or it's one of your mates that have just walked away <laughs> trying to Hit stitch you up. But obviously, Rich, look, you know, yesterday, you know, having that lead at that sort of 2.82, 2.83 mark, um, it was always going to be hard to back up with a field that was within the first 10 places. It would have been yeah, like nothing, 150 yeah, grams nothing, or thereabouts, yeah. you know, back to 20th place. There was only about 300 grams variation you could get. I mean, who has two and a quarter kilos at any fishery in Australia and ends up sitting in like 35th? Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Um, yeah. It yeah. just goes to show, I mean, look, the, the break or a little bit of respite, and obviously we've spoken about and the presentation that we made to the CFA were was from some pretty horrific conditions down here. But from a fishing perspective, it's actually given the area a massive amount of respite yep. um, you know, over that summer period. And the prawn run that they've had, which sounds like, according to Mark up there at Ben River Bait and Tackle, he was saying that it's the best they've had in about four years. I think yeah. A couple of guys went out last night. Last night. Yeah, I know. I definitely know that Doug Baker got out there. Yeah, with Mark and, and Simon's just a uh, well, his his old man was in fact a pro, so I think it's no, in his it. if it's, it's in his blood, he can't yeah, help but yeah. do it. But um, you know, I guess trying to back up that lead with such a, a massive number of anglers, I mean, 117 people on the water, we've never had that before. I really hope we can try and find a way to back that up in Sydney. So if you guys aren't already logged in no, for Sydney, there. then um, then let's see if we can uh, you know boost those numbers and yeah. get you there. But um, mate, a fantastic effort to hold on to third. Um, you know, it's obviously testament to the way that you fish. It's that consistency that just continues to back us up time and time again. Yeah, I knew it'd be hard definitely to get the do a two point eight again. But um, and I sort of struggled a little bit today, just a lot of small fish, and then sort of you know mid lunch time. Yeah, just a, pick your way through them and found them. Just kept upgrading and then yep. yeah, look, dropped a couple, but didn't yep. see them. So. Who knows? <laughs> and as we were just saying, then a uh, you know for a th- for a third spot, mate, for near enough to a thousand bucks, that that'll sort you out for you. for some stuff to come in. And a, and a big thanks to the guys at Pro Lure, yeah, obviously. Yeah, just shout out to those guys. Um, standout lure today for me was the uh, the motor oil grub. Yep, there you go. So, and have you have you thrown much of that new combat around? No, I had I had one here and yep. threw it pre-fish. Um, yep. Got one and then yep. got a. a just fish deep, so yep. you know. Just that, that was where it was. Yeah. So. Yep. Now, Jace, um, you're tied up with the guys out at Rod Bennings. Yes. And um, we had to chat to you on the water about that today. We got that media boat mojo. Yes, we got we those did. two fish there. You got the choppy tailor up front. And as we said, I guess the wherever those tailor are, you know, sort of chewing in on those bait fish, the brim are never far away. No. Very next cast. Yep. Very next cast. So. Into a brim, which was an upgrade, so that was pretty cool. So, <laughs> and I ended up upgrading that again. So yeah, there you go. It was a little bit like Nick. I fished just one lure, pretty much uh, OSP dunk all weekend. Yep. 
And, uh, Look, they, they are a staple, are they not? I mean, the dunks are just quintessentially, yeah. you know, a black brim specialist. So yeah. um, it's really interesting. I and mean, obviously you've, you've found a pattern, you've all sort of clued into it and gone like, this is where they are, yeah. you know, where you each were. Yeah. Now, now, Nick, that Bastardet that you were talking about? Yeah, Bastardet uh, Kanguku Shad, they're yep. called. So they're a 48 mil uh, suspending lure. Yep. Um, dive to about 1.2. And yeah, I was fishing in, um, 0.8 to 1.2, yep. so just fishing in the um, the sand holes. Yep. So I'd, if I could see the weed around, so if I could see the weed around, I'd look for the sand holes, cast into the sand holes, and just twitch it in the holes, yep. and the fish would come out of the weed and, and hit the lure. So yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's a um, and a one lure, one lure, one lure. Three different scenarios. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and I guess it just shows the diversity of fishing in the yep. same system that no two things are ever going to, yep. you know, sort of perform for everyone. And I think probably no more than for Paul Trent Rogers sitting there watching Jason Reed today. You know, they've basically got the same lure tied on this, arguably the same rod and reel combination yeah. and line. And, you know, one guy turns out they need a 2.9 kilo bag <laughs> and the other guy's yeah, got a donut. It's, it's um, heartbreaking. Yeah. It, it really is. But um, look, congratulations, guys. I mean... Um, it's, it's a great way to start that AOY race. We know what AOY means. We know what it leads into. It's Hobie Kayak Fishing Worlds. So we're about to see an announcement, I'm sure within a couple of days for Hobie Kayak Fishing Worlds 9. So we'll get some dates and places for that. Um, 100 points, 99 and 98 Beautiful. points out of this round. So um, we thank you very much, guys, for your time Cheers. this afternoon, for hanging around and getting through this with us. We look forward to seeing you guys at other rounds with us leading up and uh, trying to get those five rounds together to uh, to try and top off the, that sort of top five or top six in AOY to see where you might land as part of that fishing world. So, Beautiful. guys, thank you very much. Congratulations. That's me. Someone stir them out. Thanks, Nick, Chris, well done, thanks champ. Thanks for uh, the, the spare drive. Uh, any, the spare any time. Drive, so you know that we're here much. to help. Yeah. Well done, Rich. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to wrap that up. Um, thank you very much to the top three, and we look forward to seeing everyone in Sydney for what could otherwise be a massive, massive 120-person fleet on the water. Um, thank you very much. Goodbye from Ben River, and we'll